Hello everyone, I'm Pastor Robert and this is your CL Moment. I want to speak with you this morning about avoiding traps and running a race of faith. Go with me in your Bible to Hebrews, the 12th chapter, and we'll start at verse 1. And I'm reading out of the New King James Version. The Bible says, Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, witnesses are the saints who have gone before us that are surrounding us, cheering us on. Let us lay aside every weight. That word of weight means affection and concern for the present life. That includes your body and the cares of this world, too. And let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Now listen, while you're running the race of life, you got an adversary out there. It's the devil. And what does the devil do? He entraps us through snares. Now what is a snare? Let's define that. Anything by which one is entangled and brought into trouble to bring into unexpected evil, perplexity, or danger. The purpose of a snare is to leave you alive but render you hopeless and ineffective from going forward. Remember that now. Now, how does the devil, our adversary, entraps us? The same way that hunters used to entrap animals. They find something that the animal likes, and then they place it in the trap, and the animal comes on that trap, and they get trapped. Now, for you and I, he used sin. And let's talk about some ways that we can avoid being trapped by the devil so that we can run the faith, the faith of life. Key point number one, and this is big, you are trapped by your own words. <laughs> That's so important. In Proverbs 18:7, the Bible says, a fool's mouth is his destruction and his lips are the snare of his soul. Be careful what words you let come out of your mouth. Listen, you are speaking either success or victory or death and defeat at all times. So monitor what you're saying because your words are vitally important. You can't control Satan if you control what's coming out of your mouth. Think about that now. You control your destiny. And if you continue further in, in that same chapter there to verse 21, the Bible says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. You know, whatever you desire, you speak it and you're gonna get the fruit of it, which is so vitally important. Now listen, your words are vitally important to your life. Now key point number two, you are trapped by your own words. And that may be concerns for the present life. Listen to me. When things are going on, make sure that you're being honest. If you're a businessman or woman, make sure that you're honest in your business also. Don't give people a word and then you change it later because you're setting a trap not only for you or your business. Hey, if it's tax season and you're getting ready to do your taxes, make sure that you're doing the right thing because it will cost you later. Listen, you can never fail if you always do the right thing. Truth always wins, which is so vitally important. Key point number three, you're trapped by your past. You can't go forward in life by looking in the past. That is futile. You got to always look at what the Father is calling you to be because he's already cleared your past. I don't care if you got saved yesterday. Your past has been cleared in Jesus' name. And key point number four, you're trapped by your friends. This is big. And some of your associates you hang around with and maybe even your relatives too. Listen, choose your friends. Make sure they're godly friends. If anybody's coming into your life that is according to what the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 15, 33, say bad company corrupts good character, be aware of that. Choose godly people, which is so vitally important. Now listen, three things I'm going to give you the ABCs and how to stay free. First of all, A is keep the Word of God number one in your life. Spend time in the Word of God. Meditate in the Word of God. Number two, which is so vitally important, that is to make sure that you're worshiping the Father on a daily basis. Spend time worshiping the Father. 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Do it every day, you'll see a change in your life. The third one is to make sure that you're spending time praying in the Holy Ghost as much as you possibly can. And I'm telling you right now that you'll be successful. Listen to me. Do me a favor, I got a challenge for you. Check your life. If at any time that you have anything in your past, your words, your friends that are trying to hold you back, repent of it. And I'm telling you right now, you'll see a change in your life. I'm Pastor Robert, and this has been your CL Moment. Thanks for hanging out with us. We love you, and be blessed.